if you want to dramatically lower your risk of having a heart attack other than doing regular exercise, one of the best things that you can do is take action to lower your ApoB levels. ApoB is a marker that we can measure on a blood test, which tells us the concentration of atherogenic lipoproteins in our blood. Essentially, an ApoB blood test tells us the number of particles we have in our blood that have the capacity to enter the artery wall and build up as fatty plaque, which is ultimately what's responsible for most heart attacks and strokes. Genetic studies suggest that for every 24 milligram per deciliter increase in ApoB, where there is an associated two-year loss of life. But it's not just genetic data that supports lowering ApoB. Whether you look at genetic studies, observational studies, or intervention studies, the same general relationship exists. Higher ApoB containing lipoproteins equals higher risk of developing heart disease. Fortunately, we can lower ApoB with medicine and lifestyle. So while elevated ApoB is necessary for fatty plaque buildup to occur in the first place, it's also modifiable, which is great news. And the earlier we intervene and do something about it, the better. Lifetime exposure matters, which is why folks who have genetically elevated ApoB from birth have much higher risk of developing cardiovascular disease than someone who developed elevated ApoB later in life through lifestyle. For advice related to medicine, speak to your physician. There's a lot of very good drugs proven to lower ApoB, such as PCSK9 inhibitors and azetamibe. What I want to discuss here is food, five diet-related changes that have been shown to lower ApoB levels. Number one, eat less saturated fats and more polyunsaturated fats. This means less meat, butter, more nuts, seeds, algae oil, and fatty fish if you eat seafood. Lowering saturated fats actually results in upregulation of LDL receptors, which results in cholesterol being pulled out of the bloodstream and ApoB levels going down. Number two, replace sources of carbohydrates with monounsaturated fats. For example, more avocados, olive oil, canola oil, nuts and seeds, and less potato, rice, bread, and pasta. Number three, eat more fiber, particularly sources of soluble fiber. Soluble fiber helps reduce cholesterol reabsorption in the gut, similar to the drug azetamide. Beans, nuts, chia seeds, flax seeds, oats, oat bran, avocados, apples, and psyllium husk are all great sources of soluble fiber. Number four, if you have markedly elevated ApoB and are considered high risk for cardiovascular disease, consider taking a phytosterol supplement. The evidence-based dose here is two grams per day, and this should be discussed with your physician or cardiologist. Number five, the inclusion of soy foods, edamame, tofu, tempeh, and soy isolate protein this appears to be beneficial for lowering ApoB in people with elevated ApoB levels. There seems to be a few mechanisms that may explain this, uh, including increased LDL receptor activity and bile synthesis. Much of this could be summarized by saying eat a Mediterranean or plant-based dietary pattern with an emphasis on plant protein, yes, Lane Norton, nuts, seeds, and non-tropical plant oils such as olive oil, canola. For more details, you can read the review from which these five tips have come from. You may also like to look up the dietary portfolio, which is covered in this conversation with Dr. David Jenkins. Use these tips to lower your ApoB levels and protect yourself from heart disease. Ideally, we want to target an ApoB level of 80 milligrams per deciliter or lower. And for people with established cardiovascular disease, the guidelines recommend getting it down below 40 milligrams per deciliter. Before making changes to your diet, I recommend getting an ApoB blood test so you know what your baseline level is. And as always, discuss things with your physician. I'll pop a few references into the caption that can hopefully help you with that. I hope this information is useful. Please save it so you can return to it and share with friends and family members for them to benefit from too. Thanks.